Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the jersey review of the 2023 AFC Asian Cup which happens in 24 and if you remember if you have been a long time subscriber the first Asian Cup review I did back in 2019 so five years ago and we're gonna do it again as always the Asian Cup is an interesting mixture of jerseys that have been released already for the World Cup so we know them quite well of the teams that were there and then a very eclectic mix of different suppliers. In fact, we have a total of 13 suppliers. Of the 24 teams, six are supplied by Nike, four by Adidas, then three by Yako, and two by Kelman, and then everything else is just spread out all over. So this makes it always very interesting to look at the Asian Cup. On the flip side, as we'll see, there are a lot of template shirts, especially by smaller companies in there. That sometimes I would say the Asian Cup looks maybe a little bit more boring than it should, but we will see all about that. As always, when I do a jersey review, I take all my pictures from Football Kit Archive, a website that I always warmly recommend. Uh, and I'm doing this now after the first match day of the Asian Cup as well, so I've seen a little bit of the jerseys to get a little bit of better idea how they even look in game and you know confirming what is out there. All the jerseys are rated from a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best. I will uh, go relatively quickly over the jerseys that we've already seen at the World Cup. I look at it and I don't think my grading has changed a lot, so we don't need to go over these, but I will put a little bit more focus on the more uh, on the jerseys we have not seen yet, so uh, that's also for sure. I am planning to do this review since we also have to do an AFCON in three parts. Uh, in part one, we look at the jerseys from A, groups A and B, part two, C and D, and uh, part three, groups E and F. And like in part one, I want to put all eight teams together in a pot, shuffle them, and we'll go through them alphabetically. And this time we have to go all the way to the letter H, and so we'll start with Hong Kong. This time, Nike, especially if you've seen part one, Nike does the Asian Cup shuffle, meaning a red or white shirt with a little bit of white, uh, with one color dominant, the other one secondary. That's exactly what we have here in the Hong Kong jersey. It's the Nike template that we have white sleeve cuffs. Um, honestly, this being Nike, I'm even more disappointed. So I actually would start this out with a five and the same thing goes for the away jersey, which is just a reversal. Although I have to say the color here looks a little bit better and there we have also a little bit blue in there. That makes it interesting. So I'm gonna go six here, I elevate this because it's a much more interesting jersey. Then let's go to one of the biggest nations on this planet uh, without anyone here in Europe probably realizing, which is Indonesia. Indonesia hasn't been in the Asian Cup for quite, quite a while. They are supplied by Mills. And actually I have to say, not only do I like the home jersey, overall I think the whole range of jerseys is quite in, in interesting, well crafted. Maybe the way that the back side is done because it sticks out on this picture is a little bit weird. It was a little bit hard to prepare these pictures for this video to be honest. But here we are, <laughs> the best that I can. Uh, I know there's a big hate for colors at the moment, especially from player side. I still love my flop floppy colors, so it's instantly lifted higher. I love this. It's a simple red jer jersey, but has a little bit more personality than most of the other red and white jerseys. That, that we see is not an obvious template. We have a very subtle pattern in there. And I have to say the Indonesia crest is probably among the best at the entire World World Cup with the big eagle on there. I absolutely love that one as well. It's very uh, photorealistic in, in, in a way which always elevates it up for me. I think this is a really, really solid seven star jersey. I'm not, not even trying to justify that. The away jersey uh, also adds something nice. It's white, you could put red, no, but they went with this blue turquoise and wavy pattern, yes, and it makes sense. I mean, Indonesia is an island ar archipelago. So uh, to me, this makes total, total, total sense to use it. Um, and it makes over for a very interesting uh, look. Not quite the red and white that we would all would expect from a flag, but still very topical. Now from this picture, and again, this white jersey was really hard one because it was white on a white background. I try to get it uh, a little bit more subtle out. Uh, I cannot tell whether there is any subtle pattern on there, but I think just by itself, this jersey looks really cool, I have, I have to say. Um, almost, yeah, I'm gonna elevate this to eight stars, even though this is not a, a nice picture, but I saw it in play. 
uh, and it looks quite nice. And then another one that will always appeal to me, it reminds a bit of a Poland jersey, and you know, the Indonesian flag is Poland reversed uh, in, in a way, is this black number where we have the Indonesian flag along the collar. <clears throat> You know, a black jersey with red and white, this will always appeal to me. I find it curious that the tail also has a little bit red on the inside. Um, but maybe the only downside to, to this one is that the um, crest will not stick up. But these are really, really strong jerseys. One of the highest rated for the Asian Cup, even on Football Kit Archive. And I'm gonna agree with that. This is simple, striking quite strong i'm gonna give this a nine star rating as well i do like the jersey although i'm afraid we will not see it at this asian cup we have seen the iran jerseys already also a local supplier marjit i really like that iran unlike this jer jer jersey um iran used the cheetah pattern on the sleeves we have the a uh, little bit flag in there as well I gave it a World Cup seven stars and I think I'm gonna stick with it. Uh, those jer jerseys don't look that bad. Um, and the away jersey, I have to say in red, it's the same jersey. Here I have, I have to say it looks in white better, especially since uh, there's red in the flag on the edge. So kind of the color vanishes a little bit. So I think this one looks much better in the white version and therefore I drag it down to a six star rating and more on that in the jersey review from the world cup then we go to iraq um, adidas template but in green a green home uh, jersey is nice i like the chevron pattern uh, this is i mean the crest for iraq probably could use some work um, it is a shield it doesn't look bad but i think i would like to see a little bit more especially given again Mesopotamia, there could be a whole lot of more uh, done, uh, done there for that. It's a little bit cheaper. It's also a very solid Adidas jersey. Uh, there's nothing weird about it. Um, again, maybe a little bit on a disappointing side, uh, but I don't know. Six stars. Let's go six, six stars. It's nothing of, of offensive and the away jersey in white actually makes almost a little bit more sense i would say uh, but it's also a really simple adidas jersey i i don't even think there's a pattern on there five stars i think five five stars but i i feel there is a whole lot more for iraq in there again going back to his history but i feel that most of these uh mostly muslim nations don't want to do that uh, which is a little bit of a shame Japan talked about these jerseys already in the World Cup jersey review. I have to say that the home jersey, I really like the idea. It's just when you see it in play, uh, it dilutes the blue a little bit. I like the origami idea, but um, it doesn't quite get, get, get across. I would like to see a little bit more stronger blue. And for that reason, I gave this Japan jersey only a six star. However, the jersey that I'm wearing, and there's a reason why I have it. I really love this jersey. It's simple, but it's beautiful. This is a nine star. Uh, it's one of the best jerseys that Adidas have released. And I, you already saw in my uh, Asian jerseys <laughs> collection video up here how much I love this jersey. So no need to lose more on this one. Then let's go over to another uh, nation uh, from, from the Arabian uh, Arab world, which is, of course, Palestine. Kelme. And we've seen already Kelme uh, before, I think it was uh, with Lebanon. Uh, for Lebanon, they have done uh, in interesting things here. But I have, have to say this Palestine shirt is actually really cool. I like the way that the collar is done and the sleeve cuffs are, uh, are done. Probably I would wish that they reverse the colors, but you know, it's not a big, big deal. And then there's an interesting pattern in there. That is really, really cool. The font is, of course, the old Barcelona font, and I love when uh, the smaller nations copy uh, the fonts from uh, bigger teams. What I, what really for me is a no-go is just putting the flag on the on the chest. This always cheapens the a national team jersey for me. Make at least the effort, even if you would have put it upside down and in a uh, shield or whatever. I think it would look a whole lot, lot better. And if you haven't seen it, the track suits take the Palestine flag and pull it all over. That would be a great look, I have to say. So I do like the pattern. I think it's not a bad shirt overall, but then there's the flag that takes it down. And yeah, 
Should I go with the... I, I want to go... No, let, let, let's do the regular six here. Um, I have a <laughs> rather medium here, but I have to take it down for the weight weight jersey. I think if you have a red collar, you shouldn't have anything on the shoulders and vice versa. If you have something on the shoulders, the collar should be rather unique or, you know, the pattern should count continue. The half-half look is nice, but why are we going for half-half look here? Uh, this one's a little bit of a mess, to be honest. So uh, I'm gonna go four stars uh, among the templated jerseys. Four stars is actually quite low, I have to say. And then we go the UAE, similar to uh, Iraq Adidas and very, very, very simple, almost annoyingly simple. This is, I have to say, the UAE, last time they were host, they got something interesting, not great, but at least got something interesting here. This one is rather dis disappointing for me, I really have, have to say. Again, it's not a bad jersey, but I've wished a little bit more. And to top it, the crest is also not that great. I think the Iraq crest is a little, a little bit better. So for that five, only five here, at least the away jersey reminds me very much of what Panathinaikos have done. That's more interesting. That's definitely more interesting. Uh, is it great? No, it is not. But it is much better than the home home jersey because there is some interest there. So I'm gonna elevate this to six. It makes sense with the colors. But you see already, uh, we see a lot of this is typically Asian cup in a way. But I wanna end it with something uh, from East Asia, which makes it a little bit more interesting usually, which is Vietnam. Vietnam have Joga Bola uh, as their uh, supplier and. Let's point out the scene first. There's a Vietnamese flag right on the on the on, 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 on the chest, which is the worst thing about this jersey. But other than that, red. I really like the sleeve cuts and especially the collar with some of the additional red lines. But then there's also a really wild pattern which takes the star and um, enlarges it in a very interesting way. This one makes me overlook the bad flag on, on, on there because you give me a little bit more to look at. And so I'm actually gonna go seven with this one. Um, and the away jersey does the same thing. However, here the flag sticks out too much. And then the reversal doesn't work quite as well. And so let's go down and have this at six stars. And we're done with part two. Please let me know which jerseys in here you did like, which ones you disliked, where you agree and where you disagree with me. Please drop, drop a line below. I'll be back relatively soon with part three and with other things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.